What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, uh, we are going to create structural walls with opening. So we are going to use a column grid to sketch our new basement walls and we are going to add openings to the wall. Okay, so let's first open up our exercise file. So let me open this one. So it's in 2017, it's being upgraded to 2023. Just close that one. Okay, so let's do this. So currently I am on second floor. Okay, so that's okay. I can still create my uh, basement walls from second floor. So I'm going to select the structure, ta uh, structure tab and then uh, select structural wall. And then from the type selector, I'm going to use here uh, exterior 300 mm concrete. So let's click this one. And after that, let's uh, put our attention on the options bar. So as you can see here, I'm on the second floor. So for the depth, I want that to be until the basement. Okay, so I select basement. So again, if you're going to select depth, make sure the level that you will be selecting here is lower than your current level. If you are going to select height, so make sure the level that you will be selecting here is higher than your current level. Okay, so from second floor, I will be creating my uh, wall up to basement level. Okay, and then for the location line, I want that to be placed on core face uh, exterior. And then I want to create a continuous wall. So I'm going to make sure chain here is checked. And let me now start it. So using the line tool, I will be clicking A1, A1 grid, and then B1, and uh, B2, C2, C3. A3 and going back to A1 to close it. And then I'll select here modify to terminate it. And then if I check the 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all of this wall. So I can do that on the basement level as well. So I can use a window selection like that <clears throat> to select all the walls or I can also do that in 3D. So uh, what you can do is you can hover your pointer to one of the wall. Do not click it. Just move your pointer over the wall and then press the tab once. Do not hold the tab. Just press it once. Okay. So once you press the tab once, it will highlight the chain of walls or lines if it is lines so once you see it highlights so you can now click that so let's click this there you go and then after that i'm going to change the base offset here okay that one so i want to modify the base offset of my wall so for the base offset i'm gonna make that uh minus 450 to set the wall below the floor line so minus 450 and then i apply there you go. Okay. Right. And then after that, the next thing that, I, that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the, the basement here. So let's open the basement. And I am going to align my wall here. You see this wall on my grid uh, B2? I'm going to align that here on the uh, AutoCAD drawing. So this is an AutoCAD drawing imported in the project. So I want to align my wall to that uh, CAD. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to the Modify tab and then from the Modify panel, you can select your align. You can also type AL for the shortcut. So let's click this and then I'm gonna select this face here. And then I'm going to select this face here of my wall to align the wall. Okay. And then just select here modify. Okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do here is from the first floor plan, I'm going to create another structural wall. So I want to create a wall from first floor going to the basement. 
okay so i select structure structural wall so let's click this one and then again i'm gonna use depth and then make sure on uh, lower than your current level so basement is already selected okay and then i'm going to pick here okay and then i'm going to move my cursor to the right and then i'm going to type the distance so if you have a distance uh that that you want to type so now is the right time so you can type the distance so let's say i type eleven thousand nine hundred and then enter okay and then after that just select modify to terminate the tool so that's it so if you go to the 3d view so this is now how it looks like okay so if i go to the basement this is actually that uh wall here this one okay so let's say I want to change the type of this wall because this wall is exterior wall, right? So I'm going to select this wall and then from the type selector, I'm going to change this to 190mm masonry. So let's click this and there you go. So it's now changed. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to add a door opening. So let's add the door opening. As you can see, there's the door here from our AutoCAD drawing. I am not going to place a door here, but just an opening. Okay, so <clears throat> to do that, so I'll go to architecture. I'll select the door here. And then from the type selector, I'm going to use this one. Uh, 915 by 2134 opening. So let's click this. Okay, and then, all right. So I'm going to pick here to place now my opening. There you go. Okay, so if I select modify here and then check again the 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. So there's now the uh, opening. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add window openings in my elevation view. Okay, so let me open my south wall elevation here. Double click that and then I'm going to create one here. Okay, again, I'm going to use the architecture tab, but this time I'm going to add window opening. So a while ago, it's door opening. So this time it's window opening. So let's click this. And then from the type selector, let's use here. Uh, to, 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 okay, so what I want is bigger than this one. So I'm going to edit the type. Okay. So I'm going to select any of the opening here and then let's edit type to open up the type properties. So I'm going to duplicate this because I want to create a new one. So let me change the name. Let me make this uh, to 140 by uh, 1980. Okay, then okay. And then let's change here. So 1980. And then the height is 2140. And then I'll just select here, OK. So as you can see, there's a seal height here of 900. So you, you will be able to see that later on, the seal height of 900. So I'm going to select here, OK, first. And then let me now place it here. So as you can see, there's a dotted line. So that's actually the seal height of 900. OK, so I'm now going to place it here like that. And then I'll select here, modify. And then let me select this opening that I have created. And then I'll change the seal height. Just make that zero. Enter. And then let me now move this or align. Click that side and then click that side. There you go. And then select modify. <clears throat> okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the wall profile to add an opening so here what we did is we use the door tool and use the door opening family to place an opening right to create an opening here so this time we are going to edit the wall profile to add an opening so to do that i'm going to select this wall here so in 3d view this is this wall so let's click that wall and then from the mode panel you can see here edit profile so you can click edit profile click that and then uh, let's go back to our elevation much easier so 
There you go. So we are on the edit profile mode. So I'm going to create now my opening here. Okay. So I'm going to select rectangle. I'm going to click here and then click another point here. And then let's change the distance. So let's change this. So I want this to be to 140. Enter. And then this one here is I want 1980. Enter. Okay, and then I'll select your modify. Now, I'm just going to select all of this. I'm going to use the move tool. And then I'm going to make sure this is moved here. Okay, just to tidy up our uh, opening. And then I'll select here, modify. There you go. Okay, and then after that, just finish it. So finish edit mode. There you go. So you just created now the opening. And also, notice that the window opening on the right here, it displays uh, symbolic lines representing the opening. So these lines or these symbols are built into the window family. That's why you have this. So the opening on the left side created by editing the profile does not uh, display the symbolic lines. So however, you can add detail lines if you would like to just put a symbol. So you can go to annotate, you can select detail line, and then you can just using the line tool here, and then you just draw it manually. Like that, escape once, then click again here, and here, and then escape once, then modify. So that's it. So in our 3D view, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so on our next exercise, in our next video, I'm going to create and modify pilasters. So for this one, hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.